What is going on lads and welcome to our PES 2020 Euro 2020 DLC playthrough with Ireland. We're going to be taking Ireland through the group stage into the knockout stages. Hopefully all the episodes will be live from a Twitch live stream. So you'll be seeing the highlights of that and the full matches as well. Let me know if you're enjoying it in the comments below. Don't forget to like, favorite and subscribe to the channel and check out the Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash PES universe. So let's get this show on the road. But there you have it, it is going to be a 24 man team or 24 team competition. Um, we're going to go in here. Obviously, we're going to start on Superstar. I mean, people have said that, people have, actually, do you know what? I'm going to start on top player because people have said that the, 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 the gameplay has been, feels slightly more responsive, like when you're passing the ball and stuff. I'll probably know after a couple of minutes what it feels like. Um, and on Legend and Superstar, Legend and Superstar difficulty, if, if, um, well, Legends in my other profile actually, anyway, so that's out, of the, that's out of the equation. But on Superstar difficulty, I think that they kind of pressure you a little bit more in the defense. So we'll start the first game on top player, we'll go up to Superstar, and then we'll either stay at Superstar or go back down to top player to see what we enjoy. 10 minute matches, you can have 24. I mean, that would be fun if you had 24 buddies around, obviously with the way things are with social distance and that's not gonna happen now, but yeah, it would be a bit of crack. Um, and again, these are all the teams. Again, people slightly Slightly frustrated and rightly so, I think, with the squads, some of the squads, um, some of the kits. Obviously, with with the Euro 2020, I don't think anyone could have predicted what was going to happen this year. Um, you know, so I think that there's there's a, there's a small bit of, I don't know, there's probably a small bit of leeway there with them that you'd probably be wanting to to give them. But again, yeah, I mean, when you are releasing something, it needs to it needs to knock it out of the park. And again, this del this DLC on first impressions for me is pretty much just a glorified you know exhibition match after exhibition match you know um which is a pity obviously we'll get into it in a in a bit and see um we are going to pick ireland the reason why i'm going to pick ireland obviously is obvious because you know they're never going to win anything probably apart from in here um i'm just going to leave everything as is i'm in a group with england croatia oh, no maybe i'll change it let me see now let me see let me see i'm not going to use the real any seed or anything like that but I mean that what like that's an absolutely insane group for me What will I do? Am I gonna switch myself out and put me into a weaker group? There's no real weak group though Hmm <laughs> France Germany Portugal just as we go into this game. Yeah, we do we do have that podcast coming um, It's gonna be interesting. I think with the whole Listen, I mean Pez historically I don't think it's 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 mad to say, but Pez historically has always kind of struggled switching from a current gen to next gen. So I think they're going to be extremely, extremely like careful in how they approach it. And I would want them to take as much time as possible. You know, if that's a two year plan or a three year development plan, whatever it is, um, let's see what they do offer with Pez 2021. Um, I mean, what do you guys think? I mean, offline and online in Pez 2020 is so different anyway but like in terms of the core gameplay we were talking about this last night with with Spoonie. um he's obviously a massive master league player um you know in the core gameplay there's i feel that there's a lot to kind of be okay about but there's not a lot to love which is what i, I think pez needs to go back to you know it needs to be addictive um and it needs to be satisfying and rewarding right, i'm going to change my top here i need to concentrate a bit now here boys because i'm going to get absolutely slaughtered otherwise we're playing in the stadio olympico uh, Spoonie, can hear you fine. It's no worse than PS4 fan. Oh man, that's I had to move that to the other side of the room and buy the biggest HDMI cable I could buy. Crazy. That's the one thing I'm looking forward to with the PS5s, man. Hopefully that they that they are a little bit more that they are a little bit more quieter. Johnny Lawson, Microsoft acquiring the Konami IPs, game changer. I mean, it's going to be an interesting. Oh, this is nice. This is a nice little overlay. I mean, I wish they'd expanded that. A little bit because it's still kind of the same generic stuff um, but I do like that Jamie Coleman is leading out the boys they look, they look hungry they look ravenous just gonna turn that music down a slight bit lads I tell you this is gonna be a tough game I need a win here to be fair don't I because if I lose this game I'm probably not gonna beat England and I'm probably I mean Croatia are very strong as well and again this is what I like to see the face is done for some of the lesser players um, obviously some of the Irish boys you know Mahi, Doher Mahi Doherty is a fantastic player as well um, but I do like the player faces in it I mean I like the style that they have but you know things like the jerseys and that again I just think that this year has just been so crazy 
Um, it's it's just such a weird year. Um, I don't know what's going to happen with the world in the world of football. Chip Chop 69, thanks for the follow, man. Appreciate you. Appreciate you as usual. Checking it out. Um, yeah, I mean, just to go back to your point, Shawnee. Yeah, it is. I think it's going to be an interesting year. I think that's going to be something that we need to temper our expectations with. Not just with not just with Pez, but with different games as well, because. You know what what is happening this year i don't think anyone could have prepared you know um for konami probably had lots of plans with the iconic moments for the euro um i mean in fairness they've been hit and miss with the licenses that they've had like such as competition licenses and stuff um but i think in the bigger broader style i think that they have kind of turned that around a little in the last two years you know some of the iconic moments have been very popular um you know given adriano little things little things is what i always look for in terms of you know are we getting a bit further along the path of getting pez to where we all want it to be little things like you know getting changing the legends in my club's form to b instead of c so that you have a real incentive to play with the legends because they're on top form most of the time um you know and the face updates stuff like that not hyping or over hyping too many things i mean with this dlc you know they didn't shove it down our throats and say this is going to be game changing you know like amazing stuff i mean they've just said look this is what we're bringing out this is what it's going to be um you know stuff like that is what i'm looking for but oh, i like those i like these little transitions i would like to see custom transitions be able to to come into the game as well i'm sure that some of the editors on the team would do epic on it let's see hendrick get stuff going i mean it feels pretty much the same to me on this attack we'll see if i score two or three goals we'll know there's something different because i'm not the best player but we'll see we'll pass it around we're playing on pass assist level one the default as usual Whelan orchestrating from the middle McLean looking for break some shins into Stevens back to McLean and getting a lot of possession here straight away such is Ireland's way not really but uh, we'll see we're usually like 60% possession in the opposition's half let's see spread it out late one ref doesn't call it ref does not call it so it's going to be that type of game that's fine we can mix it up with the best one that way Glenn Whelan's in for the in for the kill no bother Richard Kyo stand him up bully him out of the way McLean gets in the way go on Richie beautiful ball back into Hurahan we're on the attack again I don't know do I like the one man up front we have a bit of pace with Maguire I want a ball Hendrick first time nah never going in oh, McLean I never seen the keeper throw it out like that Maguire Hendrick bounces it up Sushi is the back he's looking solid and I think we do need we do need this uh, this to be a win. We definitely need a win here if we've any chance of getting out of the group. There's McLean. The ball again. It's me. It's been all Ireland though. Go on, Shawnee. Come on, McGuire trying to hunt him down like a ravenous dog. Be out in front. Glen Whelan's just holding the line. Czech Republic. They're switched to hug the touch line now. They must. Oh my God, McLean! You just got bullied out of the way, bud. Hello, McLean. Keep the head now. Davis ball in and then turn onto the left or the right all right Randolph has it lead off the Randolph has it inside and to go again I'm gonna go one attacking because I'm actually getting a lot of possession and this is the way offline goes I've learned this from Master League if you're getting a lot of possession like this and you're kind of being able to hold the ball with the shape it means your tactics and formation is working you need to you need to really press it oh it's a lovely ball to Hendrick Maguire first goal of the tournament there we go what did I say? Shawnee Maguire with the finish. That's lifts a nation. What a goal. Chipped it up onto the back. And Maguire gets his first goal off. And I like this little transition. Yes, Spoonie. We're off. We're off to the races, my man. We're off. Lovely little interlink play. I mean, this is like, again, I've learned stuff from watching your Master League videos as well. I, like, I play a lot of Master League. Um, and it's good to see different people's you know tips and tricks and how they they read the game and stuff I always read it that if I'm on top of an opponent like that uh, You just have to really go for it and then I think they're pushing forward into the Dockle. Come on Glenn. Glenn Whelan got away with a, fi a filthy challenge in the first 10 minutes So he's probably due a yellow card sometime in this game Clean Double touch Lovely uh, Passed up I like that the skill moves are so much more responsive offline than they are online. Not massively so. I won't say massively so, but they are a noticeable upgrade when you when you're playing with a, a three star squad offline or online. Oh lovely ball, Hendrick. 
Yeah, Spoony, exactly, exactly, exactly. I mean, the, there's some stuff obviously added in files um, that isn't on this, so... Again, man, it's... I mean, are we kind of... Are we in a position where, like, you know, with COVID-19, is it is it a case of this is going to be used as an excuse or is it going to be a genuine reason? I think you have to make up your own mind as to which that category falls into. Oh, love you, um, but I think it looks nice. Yeah, I think it looks nice, to be fair. I think the presentation is, is nice and simple. That's, that's all I'd ever ask for, is something nice and simple. Because at the end of the day, like, it's not going to look... McGuire is on fire! McLean. Come on, McLean. McLean is looking to break someone's ankles. Double touch. Oh, McLean won't be happy with that. It's no free. Kyder Berg, I don't know what he did there. He just kind of... That's kind of an issue with the offline or with the AI. He just kind of stood up there for a split second. <laughs> He hasn't spooned. He's been in Richard Kyo's pocket. He's afraid of Richard Kyo, and I don't blame him. I do not blame him. Stevens. I mean, Ireland don't on paper and in Pez, they don't actually have a like a terrible squad. It's balanced enough. Kendrick, square it. Ah! That was my bad. I should have manual that. I should have done a lazy the Greek on that and manual it. Get off Duffy. I like Duffy actually. He's a bit of a beast in my club as well. And Master League for me. I got him in one of my, my save files. Get up. Hold on Whelan. Whelan need, need to come off now. He's to be back in the nursing home at 6pm. It is now quarter to 6. So we just have to keep an eye on that. I'll sub him off in about 5 minutes. Let him have a quick shower. Get some rice pudding into him. And then he'll be on his way again. Let me ball back out to Stevens. Go on buddy. McLean is looking hungry. It's a bad ball but he gets it. There's a bit of argy bargy going on the, on the ground there. Stevens is still down. But he'll get up now soon. The overlap. Lovely play. Cam collected. Cool. Maguire! And it's two. And that's how it's done. That is how it's done. Maguire is lethal in the box. Ah, uh, Spoonie, yeah, man. It's just pretty much straight into the groups. So you pick your groups, 24 teams. And, uh, yeah, I mean, again, th that's that's slightly disappointing as well. I think that they should have done that to have the qualifiers. Um, you know, it would have been good, especially for Ireland. Ireland had to go through the qualifiers. Um, and it would have been interesting, interesting to have that extra, just two games or whatever. Um, it wouldn't have been that big of an issue. But Shawnee Maguire, lads, I mean, I got him in my club, um, in my two-star squad that I play with. And he is an absolute beast when you max him up. He's kind of underrated. Now, listen, I could have... I could have thought that I was going to get a win here, maybe a 1-0 or whatever. I, I couldn't lose this game, to be honest with you. I could not lose this game. Maguire. Oh, he turns on a sixpence. And Maguire's in again. He's got the pace. He's got the man across. Ah, oh, he's just bullied out of the way. And Sushi oh, didn't bring off. Here comes the silk now, Doherty. I like Doherty on the right wide. Right, right, right. Lovely ball. There we go. <sighs> Spicy. That is spicy, lads. Again, I'm getting so much room. The Czech Republic boys don't know what's hit them. They don't know what's hit them. Look at this for a move. Silky football. Smacks it in. It's a good save. It's a good save. Magic man, what's up? What's up? We're playing a, a playthrough with Ireland here. We're hoping to bring it home to the Emerald Isle. Emerald Isle. Back out, Maguire. He's had a stormer today. Stevens. <laughs> good deflection. Hope you're doing good, Magic. Hope you're doing good. On this Thursday, hope you're keeping well. I've got two nice goals with Sean and Maguire. One a kind of a teamwork move. And the other oh Jesus, what was that? Didn't mean that, lads. Oh what way though? Judge. The skillage. So I like to see McCarthy. Is there a finesse shot on? There is, but good defending. Uh, the overlap's offline. Oh, that's a bad pass. Yeah, I mean, this is the Ireland away kit, the the white one. It's not the newest one that's out at the moment, uh, the home kit for Ireland, but uh, it's a beauty. I have it. Oh, shit. Oh, I don't want this. Oh, Randolph with the save. Beautiful. Ten minutes left, lads. We don't want to concede here. Oh, Jesus Christ. Defend the space. I'm going all out attack, all out defense. The pressure now. Gibra Salese. Oh, lovely, Brady. Maguire's ran himself ragged today. I'm going to have to mind his legs for the next leg. 
the next game in the group stage. Back to the keeper. Duffy. Extraordinary. If that had gone in, but we're safe. We're safe with that. You can see the Czech Republic boys know now that their number's up. Brady, fresh legs. Oh, Brady, come on, ref. Will you give me something? I tell you, it's been a tough game. It's been a very tough game. I mean, it would be epic if it comes down to if it comes down to a match between ourselves and England. We'll see how how the other group stage goes, but we're going to play this live stream until until we get knocked out. Oh, there's a whew, thought it was in. I thought it was in, man. I'm not going to lie. He's baiting the ground. Nice work moved again. Czech Republic, and this is why I think Pez 2020 is a little unbalanced. I think it's always worth your while. To, to kind of stay attacking like I've completely just like gone full defensive here um, and I've kind of brought him on and like in real football teams will do that as well like you think of Jose Mourinho um, when he won the Champions League with uh, Porto or whatever obviously that's going way back but even with Inter it was that I kind of like don't lose any ball to be caught in the counter attack but I think in Pez 2020 I think it's just too much of an emphasis when players are able to attack the whole time yeah, Magic, I thought it was in as well. We're going to see this one out. We're going to see this one out. Hendrick, recycle. Judge. Hendrick, finesse, but it's over. And there we go, boys. I like that. Sean McGuire with two goals. He could be the top scorer if we get through again. He's dirty. He's been rolling around on the ground. He's taken it in his stride today. Beautiful goal. We're going to check out the goal again in case some of you didn't see it, but going to keep it for the highlights package as well it will be going up on youtube for anyone watching back uh let me see i'm just going to skip ahead let's see where's sean mcguire's goal i think this was it so lovely ball in here from hendrick just there chip it up and whack it into the back of the net simple 99 shooting and all this um it's going to be difficult to, to balance that but offline is a different story Ooh, let's see. So we've got Turkey and Italy. Italy winning 1-0. Switzerland beating Wales 4-1. Denmark 3-1 over Finland. Russia and Belgium play out in a scoreless draw. Netherlands beat Ukraine 2-0. Serbia lose to Austria 1-0. England beat Croatia 1-0. Uh, we beat Cro Czech Republic uh, 2-0. Spain beat Sweden 2-0. Portugal 4-1. Poland 1-0 over Bulgaria. And Germany lose 3-0 to France, who you would have to imagine are the favourites for this um, but time will tell. I mean, all the no massive upsets there. You could say England and Croatia maybe um, is probably probably the one there that you see, and Germany and France. But obviously, you know, picking between the two of those is going to be extremely difficult anyway. So we topped the group with our two goals. Um, I think we're going to be playing England next. I didn't check the schedule, but this is going to be good. This is going to be good. Um, I mean, what do we do? What do we do? It's going to be a difficult game for us. We're going to have to go in and see if we can steal a, steal a victory here. Um, no, I mean, England will be, will be obviously a fantastic, a fantastic team uh, to play. So we're going to see. We're actually going to put it up to Superstar because that's what I said that I was going to do. And then we're going to push it back down to top player um, for the next game. But we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. I think that I want to play on Superstar to see what the AI was like. I enjoyed that game. That's the main thing for me. Uh, England playing a 4-3-3 with Sancho up top right what do i do what do i do boys loftus is in midfield i mean the one the one thing here that i'm looking at is uh is lack of pace in midfield for england i mean obviously sterling and sancho i think i'm going to cover it fairly okay with coleman doherty down the right wing mclean and stevens what i'm going to do actually just to start things off is i'm going to put mclean in a defensive role uh man mark and these two boys doherty man mark and sterling mclean man mark and there and i'm going to pull back my defensive line I mean, realistically here, right, if I get a draw here, if I get a draw here, I will be very, very, very happy. Very happy.